Om Namaste. Today we are going to study Maheshwara Sutras, which are taught in Volume 2. First, let's say some prayers, which are found on the Volume 1, page 1. We can chant together. Shuknam Varadaram Vishnum Shashivarnan Chatur Bhujam Prasanna Vadanandhyayet Sarva Vigno Pashantaye Saraswati Namastubhyam Varade Kamarupini Vidyaram Bhanka Rishyami Siddhar Bhavatume Sada Yenakshara Samamnayam Adhigam Yamaheshwarat Kritsnam Vyakaranam Proktam Tasmai Paninahi Namaha Vakyakaram Vararuchim Bharshiakaram Patanjalim Paninim Sutra Karancha Pranatos Mimunitrayam Vagartha Vivasam Praktau Vagartha Pratipattaye Jagataf Pitarau Vande Parvati Parameshwarao Om Shanti 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 Okay, now, volume 2, page 9. Volume 2, page 9. Yeah, topic 2, <coughs> Maheshwara Sutrani. Yeah, please say, Maheshwara Sutrani. Maheshwara Sutrani. Okay, Sage Panini. It's said to have received 14 sutras, which are called Maheshwara Sutrani, directly from the Lord Shiva. They are, okay, so they are, you know, small sutras, 14. Yeah. So please repeat after me. A, I, Uno, R, L, K, E, Ong, I, Ouch, Haya Varata Lana Nyamangana Nama Jabhanya Gadha Dash Jabagada Dash Kapa Charta Charta Tavu Kapai Sharsha Sar Hal iti maheshwarani sutrani. Okay, I will explain. So, 14 sutras. <coughs> so, all the sounds used in Sanskrit language are represented by these 14 sutras. Yeah, from Ha in the fifth sutra. Onwards, only the consonants are intended. In a higher varata, in ha, you know, con contains akara. You know, hakara akara, yakara akara, vakara akara. But uh, this is only for the pronunciation. So a uh, is not intended. What is intended to be told is hakara, the con consonant only. Yeah, all the way up to hal. The last consonant of each sutra, the same. Nakara, kakara, nyakara, nakara, chakara, takari, teri. The last consonant of each sutra is, is termed it. They say it. It's yeah, just like that. It's a name. It letters, it letters are like nakara, kakara, na, cha, ta, na, it, teri. Are known as indicatory letters. Yeah, if if you want to translate it, yeah, it is just a name. Yeah, it is it. But uh, you know, these are the letters which are used for indication for something. Their purpose is to discuss it in the following section. Let's see. The letters in Mahesha Sutras are arranged for making pratyaharas. Yeah. Uh, please say pratyahara. Pratyahara. Yeah, pratyahara means abbreviations yeah, for groups of letters. This arrangement is easy, easily understood in chart 5. Let's say. So these 14 sutras, 
Yeah, so first sutra was Ai Ono. The second sutra, Rluk. Yeah, and then third sutra, E Ong. Fourth sutra, Ai Auch. Fifth sutra, Hayabarat. Just like that. In the uh, order of the sutra, so <coughs> those 14 sutras are arranged in this chart. And it letters are circled. Okay? And this is, you know, those Mahesha sutras are meant for making abbreviation for groups of letters. Let's say, I will give you an example. If I say, Ak, Ak is a Pratyahara. Ak means a, k. Yeah, Ak. If I say Ak, if we, then that is, that includes all the letters from A up to K. That easy, no? Yeah. And then, uh, you know, what I mean by Ak is A, E, U. You don't count it letter. Yeah. And R, L. Yeah. These five types of vowels are meant yeah, by saying Ak. So instead of saying simple vowels or a i u r l, I can say ak, so that you know I can achieve the alpakshara you know the uh, shortest avail uh, possible of the sutra. Yeah. So ak, and then so if I want to say all the vowels, what can I say? Starting from a. And the ending with ch. Yeah, so I can say ach. Yeah, instead of saying vowels, or you know, a, e, u, r, l, a, o, i, o. Yeah, I can just say ach. Yeah, and if I want to say all the consonants, yeah, I can say ha, l, yeah, hal. Means all the consonants. If I want to say or the soft consonants, yeah, soft consonants. Then what do I say? Ha, sh, yeah, hush means soft consonants, yeah. And then if I want to say hard consonants, yeah, hard consonants start from k, yeah, end with r, yeah, ha is actually soft consonants. So you know, kr means hard consonants. Yeah, just like that. In the chart, it letters are circled, yeah, as you can see. Yeah, 14 it letters must be there. Yeah, 14 sutras, each sutra ends with it letter. Yeah, so 14 it letters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah. It letters in Mahesha Sutra are indicatory, indicatory for making Pratyahara. Yeah, preparation, which are to be discussed next. Yeah. And the assignment to uh, try to memorize. And I help others to memorize. Good. Okay. And uh, how to understand Chapter 5? In Chapter 5, the 40 Mahisha Sutras are separated into rows in the original order. Each row consists either four or five letters, including excluding eight letters. C. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. The first row contains five letters. The second row, one, two, three, four. Yeah. And the third row, five. Yeah. Fourth row, five. Next five, 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 five. And the last row, four. Okay. And then uh, vowels appear in the first two rows. Simple vowels are in the first row, diphthongs are the second row. Yeah, what, what are simple words and diphthongs? You can refer back to the first section of this book. Yeah. So in the simple words are told on the first row, and the diphthongs, the A O I O, are told on the second row. Then consonants, semi vowels are in the third row. The semi vowels are nothing but the consonants. And just want a better word we are using the in English term semi vowels, but there's nothing vowel about about them. You know they are purely consonant. Yeah, and hayabara and then lakara. At the third row, and then five and five consonants are listed from fifth of the class in the descending order. 
Have you noticed? It? Yeah, so fifth of the class means nasal. Yeah, I'm talking about if you go back uh, this normal yeah standard uh, alphabet chart. Yeah, so fifth nasals, no? Fourth, yeah, aspirate, soft aspirated, and third soft uh, non aspirated, second hard aspirated, and then uh first is non aspirated hard. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, page two, okay. Now we are at, mm, and then five and five, yeah, so in that uh, standard alphabet chart, there are five rows by five columns, you know, five and five consonants are listed from the fifth of the classes in descending order, yeah, fifth of the class, yeah, letters of the fifth of the class come first, and the next letters of the fourth of the class, and the third, second, first, yeah, descending order. And the sibilants are in the last row. Sibilants means sh, sh, s, yeah, so these sounds. And then hakara appears twice, yeah. Each sound ha, yeah, appears twice. Okay. And pratyahara, I just uh, and explained, uh, and then so more explanation. But the way you understood, uh, as uh, I gave you some example, is good enough. Yeah. The Maheshwara Sutra are arranged in such a way that pratyaharas abbreviations for specific group of letters can be made from them. The Mahesha Sutras are meant for making uh, Pratyaharas. Each Pratyahara consists of two letters. The abbreviation is made of two letters, first letter and the last letter. Yeah, the first letter yeah, indicates the beginning letter of the group denoted by the Pratyahara. Yeah, when I say Ak, yeah, first letter, yeah, you know, from, from which the group starts. Yeah, if I say H, yeah, and then you don't want to count Ayurlu, you want to count anything, you know, including A, downwards. Yeah, so if I say Hal, you want to count downwards. Yeah, don't go up. Yeah. And then the second, second is, the space is missing. The second letter, yeah, is an it letter purely for indicating the end of the denoted group of letters. Yeah, purely means you know it's not included in the group. Yeah. So when I say ak, yeah, so it shows the end. Yeah, so means it's not included in the group. Yeah, and then in between, if there are any it letters, they are not uh, counted. Yeah. In this manner, each pratyahara denotes all the letters beginning with the first letter of the pratyahara, ending with, but not including the final it letter. Yeah. For example, ak is a pratyahara for all the letters starting from a ending with, but not including the it letter k. Yeah. So, yeah, I already explained, no? Yeah, ak, yeah, starting from a, and then you count you know, downwards, up to kakara. Yeah, ak, but uh, you don't wanna include the kakara. Yeah, and, uh, and you don't wanna also count any it letters in between. Yeah. So, a, i, u, r, l. Then, yeah. how the arrangement of Mahesha Sutras in chapter 5 allows the contents of a Pratyahar to be found quickly, yeah, if you know the order. Yeah. For example, a Pratyahar J. Yeah, J. If you just remember the Mahesha Sutras, and then, you know, you have to and really, you know, remember correctly, you know, I unu ruke eon ayoch hayabarata 
lan ini nya mangga nam jaban okay ja and then up to e yeah so up to kapai you have to you know count and then you know you may miscount but then jagara jagara belongs to the fourth of the class yeah and it the position of it is this you know you, you want to be clear you know uh, the yakara as an iterata don't count the yakara here yeah so the last letter of the pratyahara should be circled yeah should be iterata yeah so yakara so jai yeah yakara as an iterata so it indicates the end of first of the class yeah jakara belongs to fourth of the class yeah and then this class uh presented in descendant order yeah so four to one means you know third and two and second are included yeah so jai by here in jai yeah you don't have to you know uh, miss the count yeah you can just say you know you can just understand jakara you know from the fourth case downwards yeah and then down to or up to yeah, the yakara which is the end of the first of the class yeah so you know by here in jai okay all the you know it jai is an abbreviation for all the letters starting from the first of the class till the fourth of the class yeah the you know consonants of first second third and fourth of the classes you can quickly tell yeah then by this the group of letters abbreviated as j is understood as the letters from fourth of the classes down to first of the classes yeah let's do some exercise so this is the pratehara of the fo following yeah so if you wanna make a pratehara for all the vowels what do you do what do you say all the vowels yeah all the vowels here yeah so you start from a uh, and end with ch, yeah. So the answer is ach, yeah, ach. Ach is you know, this, this is how you write ach, ach, yeah. And then next, uh, shall we go this way? All consonants, all the consonants. A consonant starting from her and then up to up to you know up till the last you know l. yeah so you can say all the consonants you can say hal yeah you may think in a her also but the hal also the same thing and then um, in Panini sutras, you don't find har. Yeah, you see only hal. Yeah, same result only, but uh, in usage you don't find har. You find only hal. Then, all simple vowels. How do you say? Yeah, ak. Yeah. Just like that, yeah, you can do. And the next uh, video, I will, yeah, we can do together all the way. Yeah, and also I'll show you how you do the second exercise. This is the number of letters, type of the letters, and the letters of the form has. When you hear ak, yeah, so how many letters are uh, included? You know, a, e, u, and then r, l, yeah, five. And then you can say, you can call them all the simple words and you can list them yeah please don't include it letters yeah and then uh, let's do something like uh, something new and if you're told each yeah each so e ikara where is ikara here and the chakara here so each yeah so we know this is Con the first row consists of five letters, second four, yeah, and the five five minus one is four, yeah, four plus four eight, yeah. 
And then um, all the vowels except for akara, you can say. And then you can list a uh, e, sorry, e u r l e o i o. You can list. Mm. Then let's pick something. Uh, lecture. How many letters? Char. Lecture. Five. And r three. So five three eight. And then how do you name them? Yeah. So all the you know, uh, letters of the first of the classes and the students, you can say. Just like that, yeah, you can do all the exercise and then we can do, uh, do them together in the next lesson, okay? Om Purnamadav Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Hi Harihi Om Shri Guru Piho Namaha Harihi Om